everyone! It's kind of late. Yes, I, I know, but I'm still kind of sick. So, uh, we're just gonna go with it, alright? It's also been a really long time since I've filmed anything. <coughs> I feel like I have a ton of snot in my throat, so, uh, please bear with me. It'll be an experience for all of us, this video, which I think I was trying to lead up to here with that little speech thing. Do I have cat hair? <laughs> um, yep. Where is it? Where is it? It's best and worst of beauty time! I know it's already June. Like I said, I'm sorry, but I have been sick. There you go. That's all the excuse I really need to give, right? Not to mention my computer broke, so... <sighs> Fuck my life. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? <sighs> sometimes. Sometimes. Beginning of May was just like, thesis prep, thesis show, graduation, get my master's degree, celebrate, oh, just kidding, you're gonna get really sick, sick, sick for two and a half weeks now. And not to mention, <laughs> let's kick her when she's down, computer breaks. So uh, that's been, that's been my May. I honestly don't know how I was able to come up with a 10 product pyramid for the month because, like said, I feel like I've either been a complete emotional disaster or else I've just been a complete immune system disaster. But hey, I've got lots of beauty products to talk about, so I hope you all enjoy as per usual. So let's sing the song together, shall we? I'm not gonna forget this time. It's the best and worst of beauty. For the good or bad, I spent my money. Cha! Yeah. So, to start off, I actually do have some bad products to talk about, which I feel like it's been a while. I mean, they're not bad, bad. Like, I wouldn't say don't go out and buy them ever, but, like, I'm never gonna go out and buy them. Slash, I'm never gonna go out and buy them again. Slash, I wouldn't recommend them to my best friend. You know what I mean? First up, I've got this Chapstick Hydration Lock. This is the Renew and Moisturize Dual Ended version. This was sent to me from the Chapstick people. As always, you know, I don't mind disclosing that stuff with you. Clearly I'm not sponsored, otherwise this would not be at the bottom of a pyramid now, would it? They had sent me the three nice ones that I always forget what they're actually called, but like one of them is Sweet Peach, one of them is like a lemon scent, and one of them is a soothing oasis. And then they sent me two of these dual-ended ones. One of them I hated. I will try and find that Best and Worst of Beauty. I think I included it in there, or else I included it in an empty, even though it was far from empty. I will try and find that for you and link it down below. As always, all of these products, if there's anything related to them that I have talked about before, it, it'll be down below. Just go there. So I was not expecting much from this one and I'm glad I didn't expect anything from this one because it's really not that great. It's better than that other dual-ended one. The other dual-ended one I couldn't even bear to have on my lips. It just the smell and everything. I just I couldn't. This one is fine. It's scent free, taste free, whatever. It's just not moisturizing enough for me. It's just one of those ones that's like really oily and so you put it on and then like 20 minutes later you're like where'd it go? You know? But I mean it doesn't do anything bad. Like it doesn't dry out your lips. I just don't think it does anything great. So like, like I said, I wouldn't recommend you go and spend your money on this but I mean it's not gonna kill your face either. So like, that's that. <laughs> Second up on the bottom of my pyramid here is something that my mom passed on to me. She'd originally really, really liked this product, and then I think she bought a second bottle of it, and then she decided she didn't like it very much. And so she gave it to me to try out, and I don't really like it either. <laughs> it is this Urban Decay by Scandinavia. This is the B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray. It's supposed to be redness reducing, pore minimizing, and oil absorbing. I don't know about any of that. I mean, I can't really tell you anything about the redness because I don't really have redness. I'm more for the pore minimizing and oil absorbing part of this. You guys, nothing will minimize your pores because your pores are your pores. And unless you don't have skin, your pores are gonna be your pores. You know what I mean? Oil absorbing, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Nothing, nothing really. It's got a really fine mist. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Look at that. Look at all the particles. Look at them. Look at them. Can you see them? Can you see them? Am I just, um, nothing? Okay. 
It's got a really fine mist. It's also got a really not pleasant smell. <laughs> it's not the worst smell in the world, but I sure as heck would not bottle it and put it into product form and wear on myself for pleasure, you know? I'm gonna use it up because it's fine and for me it was free, but I would never go out and buy this and I wouldn't recommend it to anyone because I've tried way better setting sprays, especially from Urban Decay, you know, like their D-Slick and their All Nighter and all that stuff. Those are good ones. I don't know what happened here, but uh, it's just not for me. <laughs> Next up on the bottom of the pyramid, I feel like this is gonna kill some of you. I just, I feel like either you love makeup sponges or you don't. I apparently fall into the I don't. There's nothing wrong with this. This is the Real Techniques version of the Beauty Blender and oh my gosh, it's so dirty. I swear, when people say stuff like that, you would think they used this to wipe their butt and they were showing the poo particles on camera. It's just foundation, you guys. Like, calm down. I tried. I really, I've given this thing multiple tries. I do use it damp. I, I mentioned it in the videos that I used it in, that I used it damp, but I don't know if I didn't say it loud enough or what, but yes, I use it damp, and I but it just, it takes forever, and I think the finish of this is the same as my makeup brushes that I use for foundation. Like, I think my makeup looks good, and I can do this a lot quicker than I can do this. You know what I mean? It's already getting a little graphic here, but like, maybe it's because I'm, I'm a girl and I have girl parts, so like, going like this is a little bit more easy than going like this. <laughs> Is that too much? Is that too much? We'll see. We'll see if I keep that in the footage. <laughs> I'm glad I bought the Real Techniques version so I didn't feel like I wasted $20 on a freaking sponge. I still kind of refuse to buy a beauty blender even though I know so many of you say that it is so worth the money. This just happened to not be for me. If it's for you, that's great. You want mine? Y you can't have it because I don't know where you live and I don't want you to know where I live. Sorry. There's too many creepers out in the world. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna close that book and we'll go on to the next chapter here. Fourth product. Let's go. Let's go. Better things are ahead. Last thing on the bottom of the pyramid here is something that I feel like, I think it's been discontinued, but I think they came out with the exact same thing, they just named it something different. Anyways, it is this Tarte Smooth Operator Micronized Clay Finishing Powder with PM20 blah 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 blah. I got this like eight years ago, and I wish I was exaggerating, but I think I got this probably like six or seven years ago. You guys, I don't care about makeup expiration. It's a powder. Like, it's not like I pooped in here and then kept it in the container with the powder and now I'm using it six years later, you know? Why is everything coming back to poop today? I don't know. This is a setting powder. It's translucent and I got it in the very first 500 point perk that I ever got from Sephora. It was a Tarte one and this came in it and I finally got around to using this. I have so many freaking powders sitting around you guys, but I think I like this. I think I do. Is it my favorite? No. But I think I like it. It definitely keeps the face looking matte-ish. Does it keep it matte all day? No. Does any powder keep my skin matte all day? No. So like, okay. It's very smooth. Is it completely translucent? No. But like, you buff it in and you get over it. And overall, I think it's a good powder. I feel like the thing that they changed it to is that instead of the micronized clay, it's now like the Amazonian clay. I don't know. It looks exactly the same to me, but maybe they're different. I'm not a tart scientist, so I don't know for sure, but I think you can still get this, technically kind of. Would I recommend it? I don't know. You can give it a try. Is that good? That was a terrible review, but there you go. I've been using this this month, and it hasn't been bad. So, um, all right. It's getting hot, you guys. I think that means we're moving up to the second tier of the pyramid. Yes, it does. This is something that I did a first impression on here, my channel, the thing, English, English, English. I did a first impression on this product. Any guesses? Any guesses? Too late! Were you right? This is the CoverGirl the Super Sizer Mascara. I was sent this along with an eyeliner from CoverGirl. It's new. <sighs> cat hair on my face, but that's not new. 
Ugh. I got this in a Vox box. I tested it. I think I like this mascara, you guys. It is nice. It has its downfalls. It's very reminiscent, for me anyways, of the Benefit Roller Lash. It's just like drugstore roller lash mascara. You know what I mean? It's a very wet formula, so if you don't like that, you're gonna hate this. It's also kind of clumpy, but you can work with it and make it look not so clumpy. I just think it works really, really well, and I feel like every time I've had this on in a video since I got this, which has been every single video since I got this, people have been like, girl, your eyelashes? Oh yeah, skateboarder man and dog barking. Yeah, you love this mascara too. I know, I get you, I get you. But yeah, I think it's a good one. I think it does good things to my lashes. I do think it works better as a layering mascara. I have really been liking it layered with my Makeup Forever mascara. So I do the Makeup Forever and then I do this and that's what I have on my lashes today and I think it looks nice. It flakes a little little bit but not too too much. It is a bugger to get off at the end of the day though. It's one of those mascaras where no matter how much you rub with like the best makeup remover ever, it's not going to get it all off. You're still going to wake up and there's still going to be little remnants of mascara sitting around. But I do think it's a good one and for a drugstore mascara, I think it's worth a shot. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I'm going to say you should go out and try this because, like said, it's at least worth a shot. Up next we have a product that is kind of an oldie but a goodie. I just kind of dug it out because my concealer that I was using finally ran out and so I figured that I should probably use up the last bits of this one since I've had it sitting around for freaking forever. Like way too long for me to have had a concealer sitting around. But hey, it still works. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Wear Concealer. Blah 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 blah. I have the shade Warm Light Medium. This is a really good concealer you guys. I mean Estee Lauder, I just feel like they know what they're doing when it comes to skin products, when it comes to lotions and foundations and concealers. Estee Lauder's got it going on. She's a smart lady. She's there for us. And this concealer is no exception. It's a bit of a thicker concealer, but it's still got that like watery, malleable, I feel like that is not the right word to be using here, but like it's very blendable and like work withable. It really does the job. It covers up basically anything and it really stays put. It's one of those concealers where like at the end of the day, your foundation might have worn off, but your concealer is still there. Like it's just really, really good. I don't know that there's much else you can say about a concealer. It's just really, really good. Pricey, yes. All of Estee Lauder stuff is, but I think it's good. Especially now that you can get Estee Lauder on Sephora, I think that's great because you can get cash back. I think Ebates is doing 8% cash back on Sephora right now. Don't quote me on that because I don't know when this video is going to get uploaded, but cash back is always good. It's a good concealer. I definitely recommend it. I like this way better than other concealers. <laughs> the NARS Creamy Concealer. <laughs> gross. <laughs> that concealer wasn't gross. I just, this one's a lot better if you ask me. <laughs> Last thing here on the second tier of the pyramid is something that I feel like I have talked about before. Maybe in my last pyramid? I don't know. It's this combination of eye products. I just, I just, I just. So I've got the Tarte Poppy Picnic. I still want to call it the Poppy Princess. So I'm going to call it the Poppy Princess Picnic Palette. It's not the name. Don't type that into Google. They will laugh at you. And then I've also got the Maybelline Color Tattoo in just beige. Now, this was limited edition, but I'm pretty sure Max Soft Ochre is supposed to be a dupe for this. Slash, this was supposed to be a dupe for Max Soft Ochre because this is the cheaper one. So, basically, it's a matte yellow color. Okay. And then the Tarte Poppy Picnic Princess palette. <laughs> I still think this is overpriced. I still think they could have done a better job in giving a bigger difference of eyeshadows in it, but <sighs> dang. The quality is there, you guys. The shadows are just super buttery, they're super creamy, super pigmented. On top of this, you just get this really bright, I don't know, I just think it's a really professional kind of an eye look. And like I said, because all of the shadows are basically the same in this freaking palette, this is basically the only look I can get out of it. I mean, I could go extra super duper smoky, but that's just not me. This is basically the look that I do with it, and it's just been good this month, you know? When I've wanted to look professional at the beginning for, like, my thesis and graduation and stuff, this is what I would wear. Or, like, when I'm sick like I am right now and I have to go to work and I don't want to scare people and I want to look semi-awake and healthy, 
I wear these because it just brightens up your eyes and it just looks nice. I've talked a lot about it. I'll leave other videos linked below. I really like both of these products and in tandem, they've been really good eye combos for me this month. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna show up to work and they're gonna be like, Cassie, did you just get back from a swim? And I'm gonna be like, no, I was just sweating profusely in my living room. <laughs> oh. Second from the top tier of the pyramid, we're onto the really, really good stuff. And oh my gosh, you guys, this is really, really good stuff. This is the Detox Dry Shampoo Dry Bar. Oh my gosh, is that like a little trickle of sweat? Oh, it's summer. I got this little sample. Um, I shouldn't call this little. This is 1.4 ounces. This is a great size sample. This was sent to me in my P.O. box. One of you out there, I believe, oh, I forgot your name, but I know exactly what package it came in, if I'm remembering right. You sent me all of the Canadian treats that I ate so quickly, and they were delicious. And you also sent me so many good makeup things, and this was a part of it. Right? Am I getting it right? You, your lovely self in Canada. What's your name? Emily? Emma? I forget. I'm so sorry. I appreciate you and I loved your package. And darn it, I really love this dry shampoo. This is such a good dry shampoo. Like, I think this might be the best dry shampoo I've ever used. It has a really bad white cast. Like, really bad. So you definitely have to make sure that you are rubbing this in thoroughly after you spray it in. But, once you get rid of that white cast, it literally makes your hair look like it was just washed. Amazing. Amazing. I can't get away with three-day-old hair. Now I can. This stuff is so good, you guys. It's so good. It's so good. I'm so in love with it. It has that typical dry shampoo kind of a fresh smell to it. I don't know. So, like, nothing spectacular, but it's nothing gross either. And it just works so so well. So definitely give this a try if you can. This has saved my butt so many times this month because it's been like, I haven't showered for like a week because I've been sick, but oh my gosh, I need to go and bring my computer to the Apple store so they can fix it for me. I don't have time to shower. Thank God I have this in my medicine cabinet. So it's been really great. Love, 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 love this stuff. <laughs> All right, you guys, second to the top on the pyramid. How excited are you? I'm wearing one of the products right now. I mean, I'm wearing a lot of these products right now. But can you guess which one? Can you guess which one? Not my tongue. My lips. My lips. Okay, these are two things. I'm sorry, I cheated, I know. But I've been using these equally as often this month. So the thing that's on my lips is this MAC lipstick. This is in Call the Hairdresser. This was in the MAC is Beauty collection. Since they didn't put it in limited edition packaging, uh, I feel like you can still find these on like Macy's and Nordstrom and stuff. Maybe even still the MAC website because they didn't really sell out. And also because I know a lot of people don't seem to like luster finish lipsticks. What is wrong with you? These are beautiful. I think. <laughs> this is just a beautiful pinky red. And it's just so great. It's like the perfect summer slash spring color. I just could rub this on my lips all day and it's so... <sighs> I love Lester's. I love them. I really don't know how anyone could hate these. They are so creamy. They are so smooth. They last a really good like four or five hours. They fade gracefully. They've got that classic vanilla max scent and I just like them a lot. So whenever people say they don't like them, I feel like they're saying they don't like me. Because I take things way too personally, even when they're not about me at all. Uh, anyways, <laughs> the other thing that I've been rubbing on my lips a lot this month has been this NARS Satin Lip Pencil, and this is in the shade Riku Gien. It's named after a place in Japan, I found out, which is really exciting for me because I love Japan. This is beautiful. This comes in the little kit that Sephora gives away for birthdays this year, so if it has been your birthday or it's gonna be your birthday, coming soon to you if you just tell Sephora that it's your birthday. So, good, good, go get this because this is a beautiful lip pencil. I've actually had to like sharpen it, which I hate about these NARS pencils. I hate that you have to sharpen it and waste the product, but it's a beautiful, beautiful lip pencil. It's got just that classic pink, dusty rose almost kind of a color. And it's got kind of a almost frost to it, but it's not like a dated looking frost. It's just a pretty shine to the lips. And I feel like every time I wear this, I just get so many compliments and it lasts forever on the lips, like good five, six hours at least. So 
these two colors kind of in the same family, kind of not, but I have been wearing them to death this past month and I think they would be colors that would look great on anybody, so if you can get your hands on them, do that, because these are Cassie approved. And that's all that matters, right? It really doesn't. If you want them, go out and get them. If you don't, it's okay. I'm not gonna go cry or anything. <laughs> At least not in public. <laughs> We're at the top of the pyramid! If you would have told me that this is going to be on the top of my pyramid ever, I would have laughed at you and then pushed you into the snow. Not that it's snowing outside, but that's like one of my favorite things to do when I'm like walking around with friends outside in the winter and there's like big snow banks everywhere. I... <laughs> Doesn't this just make you want to be my friend? I love pushing people into the bank of snow. <laughs> I mean, people do it to me too, like, or else they drag me down with them. It's not a one-sided, mean thing. How do I have friends? This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I have the shade number 120 Classic Ivory. This stuff is perfection. This is definitely in my top three ever foundations. This, the Estee Lauder Double Wear and the Glow Minerals liquid blah 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 foundation. Those three are probably my top ones. They all kind of serve different purposes. They're not really comparable in finishes or anything, but they all work so well. And this one, for the price, I mean if you get a coupon from Ulta or whatever, for what, I mean, Walgreens, where, you know, they've always got coupons hanging around just for free. Take them. Take this product. We don't want it anymore. And you say, okay, thank you very much. And you buy it for like the $5. I mean, I bought this in conjunction with uh, the powder. I did a video on it. If you want to watch that, if you missed it, I will have it linked below, as always. I was able to get this for like eight bucks, I think. Like, stupid cheap and stupid fantastic. It's one of those foundations where, yes, it does start off kind of matte looking, but throughout the day it lets just enough of my oils come through where it looks luminous. It doesn't look dewy. It just makes me look like I'm glowing. It does last all day. All day. Like when I wipe my makeup off with my makeup wipe at the end of the night, it's like full pigment on there. You know, with some of them, like with my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation and stuff, those ones fade a bit throughout the day, so it's like you wipe it off and you can still see it on there, kind of. But this stuff, it just looks like you rubbed a mask off of your face. The most beautiful mask. <sighs> and when my mom was here for my graduation, she was looking for a new foundation. She has dry skin, though, so I directed her to this foundation, except in the dewy formula, which apparently they're supposed to be like, you know, identical foundations just for different skin types, and she loved that one for her. This is just a really good range of products, I think. I mean, I'm going off of this experience and my mom's experience, and also what other people have said on YouTube and whatnot, but it's kind of like a thicker consistency, but it really, I don't feel like I have foundation on my face right now, but when I touch my face, it's just smooth and soft, and I just think it looks so good. Like, what more could you ask for in a foundation other than it being stupid dirt cheap? I mean, I guess I could also ask for a freaking pump. I hate these glass bottles with the open tops. It's just stupid. And I know there are websites where I can buy the pump, but I am lazy and poor, so I'm just dealing with this. So yeah, really, really love this foundation. I highly recommend it to any of you out there that are looking for a foundation, period. Just do it. I don't care if you already have a holy grail, just try this. And if you buy it from a place like Ulta or something, you can return it after you use it, so like, no loss to you. Alright, so that is it, you guys. That was my monthly pyramid for May. It's sorry, I almost said June because it is June. Happy birthday to me. Has it been my birthday? Has it not? I'll never tell, but I am a Gemini. It is in June. You have like 20 days to pick from. So yeah, I'm 25 this month. It's crazy. Graduated last month. I got my master's degree. I'm going to be moving at the end of June back to Minnesota. And it's just, it's been a crazy time. But it's been good. May was a good month. I'm still kind of waiting to catch my breath here. But it was a good month. I obviously had lots of good products to get me through it. And I hope through this pyramid best and worst of beauty system video you were able to find some products that maybe you want to go out and try and enjoy for yourself. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye! Bye.